All right, what's up, it's Sila. Now I'm making this video as a warning to y'all. This is something that my tribe has come across and almost screwed up and almost got my base absolutely screwed up. So yeah, I'm making this video. And hopefully, if you pay attention, you will make the same mistakes that others might have made, save you a lot of trouble and might even save your base. So let's get straight into it. Right, so right here, you can see two velos. One of them um, is male, one of them is female. Doesn't really matter that much. They're both on aggressive. Um, everything, all these settings, aggressive, ter um, high target range, ignore group whistles, um, turn mode. Now, this is fine, right? Imagine this is in front of your base. So you have VLOs that is protecting your base. Completely fine, right? Now, what you would normally do is you would go up to each and every one of them and manually turn their stands to aggressive, right? Turn the target range to high. But Art recently added a new feature, which is copy settings to nearby nanos. Now this looks extremely handy. And yes, trust me, it definitely does. This can save you a lot of time. But if you click this one now, if I turn this one on to passive, so like assuming you haven't done any of these, if you click this one, copy settings to nearby dinos, see copy settings to nearby, uh, two nearby dinos. And you can see this one is on aggressive, so it actually works. You can copy every single setting from this dino to this other dino. However, if you look over here, we have a dodo that is, just think about it as in the base, right? This is a breeding dodo that I have. It is also on aggressive. It is on aggressive. Now, this means that if I copy a settings with a VLO to nearby dinos, I would copy this setting to literally every single dino in the base, which means every single dino in the base is not only on aggressive, it is on high target range, and it is on ignore group whistles, which means that if someone shoots any one of your dinos, say a VLO, every single dino in your base will start running after them. And the worst part is they won't even be able to um, respond to your whistle. So you can't whistle passive and try to calm them down, right? The other thing is, if this is say a breeding dodo, right? Say you have a bunch of breeder in your base, you have them to enable mating, and then you go over to the VLO and you copy sent to nearby dinos, assuming you have put more VLOs in the base. And you go over here, you actually disabled the breeding on your dinos. So if you copy, since you, you never have your um, turret VLOs on breeding, so you copy this to all your nearby dinos and this will literally disable breeding for every single dino in this radius. Now, right, how to arc, you might ask. How big is the radius, right? Now, if we go over here, you can see that the green is the radius. And my god, is that radius fucking huge. This radius probably would encompass your entire base, if not at least half of it, right? If your base is really big, then this might cover half of it. But most bases, a VLO close to your main or breeding area could literally encompass your entire breeding area or main base. And this will change every single settings on your dinos to not only on aggressive ignore target but also on disabled breeding so you won't be able to breed anything everything will be on aggressive and run after people when um, you start chasing it and the worst part is right if i go over here and i turn this to back to passive first right passive enable mating and i turn this to heat group whistle turn this to ignore group whistles right ignore group whistles so it doesn't it ignores group whistles if i you know if i turn it to you know, if I whistle, you know, aggressive, still on passive, ignore group whistles. However, if I copy settings to nearby dinos, it doesn't matter. Even if you turn it on, ignore group whistles, it does not matter. You cannot prevent the settings of the VLO from being copied to every single of your video in base. So for now, what I would suggest is don't use this. Simply go up to it and spend a bit of time, manually change the settings of every single VLO. And you would save yourself a lot of fucking trouble, um, especially if you copy everything and then realize all your breeders are not working and then all your dinos are for some reason chasing after enemies when they're attacking. So yeah, hopefully um, the arc devs would change it to probably copy settings to a smaller radius or being able to change the radius yourself. But yeah, hopefully that is a feature that will be added. But for now, um, I would definitely recommend not using this um, settings for the time being. But yeah, that's about it. I'll see y'all legends in the next one. Peace out.